Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon folks. Today is the 24th of April, the last day. Oh no, no, sorry. We are in the middle of the phase 3 of the MCO dalam fasa ketiga Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan. Semalam baru saja diumumkan oleh Yang Amat Bawamak Penara Menteri yang kita akan disambungkan lagi dengan PKP sehinggalah 12 hari bulan Mei. Okay, MCO has been extended. What to do folks, this is for our own safety as well. This is for our own well-being as well. So please guys, kat mana kat rumah tu, please adhere to the instructions given. Dan saya juga ingin mengambil peluang untuk mengucapkan selamat berpuasa. Salam Ramadan. Satu Ramadan 1441 Hijriah hari ini. Diharapkan anda pagi tadi dah bangun sahur. I hope you guys actually woke up early this morning untuk sahur. And it's only two o'clock. So kita ada lebih kurang five and a half hours until berbuka puasa. So chill, relax, stay, uh, stay cool and Stay with us, watch us because we actually have something really awesome today. Saya ada seorang lagi tetamu yang sangat menarik yang, yang saya ingin uh, memperkenalkan kepada anda. She's a very talented, very experienced radio DJ announcer. She was with Hits FM quite for a long time before. Also being a radio DJ, she also indulged in being an MC, professional MC for multiple events out there, corporate events, social events and whatnot. She also does voiceover. Um, she lends her voice for commercials as well as corporate videos. Uh, not forgetting as well, she's a very attractive looking human being, I dare say that. And she's downright awesome and I've got to know only quite recently and, and she's really, really an awesome, uh, awesome human, human being and really downright, um, well, cool sometimes because being a radio DJ, she can be very sarcastic as well. That's what I love about her. Ladies and gents, may I introduce to you, Miss Serena C. How are you, Serena? Did you call me cruel or cool? No, 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 no. I, I, no. It's actually both. So, so it's, it's easy for you to... No, no, you're not. You're not cruel. You're like the coolest person ever. Again, I used to, no, no, j just to tell our viewers before, before I get along with everything, I used to call Hits FM at night because I wanted to speak to Serena C on air. So like, and, and, and I found out that I actually share the same name as her father. So that's kind of cool. My nickname, that is. So much of we share the same nickname. So Serena, much as Rono, whenever I used to call her in the middle of the night and everything. The Monday when she was in, uh, you know, in the studios and everything. So yeah, that was so many years back. How many years was that at least when you were in your kids' days? Uh, Chloe, can we turn that down, please? Okay, when you have a child, huh? When you're talking to three people. <laughs> no, no problem, no right problem now. at all. Uncle Muir's page, thank you so much for having me, first of all. Chloe, I need the iPad off now. If not, you're getting out of my room. Would you like to get out or you want to say hi? Ah, Nila, Nila. Okay. Ma, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. This, this, this is the true reality of a mother. This is young, sebenarnya. No, she, she loves her daughter, obviously, very much. But you can see her sternness and her lovingness at the same time. Oh, what sternness? Yes, she's right here. Everybody, yeah. Thank you all. Here Hello, all. hi. Mr. Muir's uh, uh, No, baby. no worries, no worries. Yeah. Hey, what's your name, by the way? Chloe. Chloe's right here, guys. Hi, Chloe. How are you, Chloe? How old are you, my dear? Saya, saya umur. Are you umur? Eh, orang Malaysian. It is. I'm five years old. <laughs> You're five years old. Oh, suddenly so shy. I bet that she's not going to be shy when she, you know, grows up, you know, having her mother being so outspoken and so, you know, flamboyant and, and, and you know, hebat lah orang kata sebenarnya. <laughs> Give her five minutes, she won't be shy. Anyway, thank you everybody for yeah. yeah. Facebook for having us. You know, it's the MCO, so... This is pretty much any time the kid can barge in kind of time. So yeah, I want to thank also yesterday for going on IG, my IG live because yesterday I was talking about something mm -hmm. uh, extremely serious and uh, he supported, mm -hmm. you know, the whole world is having IG live. So, you know, it is kind of hard sometimes yeah. to get the audience. So yesterday we were talking about MCO, uh, 
against domestic abuse? That's a very serious question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, to get uh, uh, people to support. So, but Mir came in. So, thank you. How did I get to know Mir? If you're talking about the time when I used to speak at like 3 a.m. in the morning, I would have been 20. That would have been a long yeah. time. Ago. If I tell you how many years, then you'll know my age. Uh, yeah, no, 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 of course, I, I do, I, I, no, it, it's a ballpark figure that uh, I think I'm able to actually deduce, but yeah, let's not give it up to the public over there. But, but yeah, I mean, like, you've been in... No, no problem, I'm... I'm my in mommy's my age is 40. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. <laughs> Talk about what? a declaration, and now the world actually knows that Sri Nasi is 40 years old. Well, well, you don't look 40 anyway, you look nothing more than 31. 32, I, I would say, you know exactly what to say, like, well, you're from, of course, la. one event knows how to push my buttons already, wait till I tell them what you mean, <laughs> event, huh, Srina, Srina, let me do this, Srina, Srina, let me do that, okay, you know, whatever you want, um, no, bro, you know what, because, like, you know, when we were the first time around, it was last year during a, a gala event, you know, I, I was, I mean, I, I was definitely, I, I was feeling the pressure because again, being partnered up with somebody who is so experienced as yourself, you know, being in an industry much longer than I have, of course, you know, feeling a bit apprehensive, but also wanting to, you know, show a bit like, I can do this thing. I, I can actually, not, not to outshine, but I can be on par, at least, you know, on the same level, that kind of a thing, giving that kind of an impression. Because, you, I mean, it's really hard in, in, the, in our industry, becoming an MC when you're comparing portfolio, when you're comparing different identities and different personalities. Sometimes it can jive so well, and sometimes it just clashes, doesn't it? Yeah, we totally cracked. Like you were terrible. Like, we didn't work well. No, we worked so well together. And that was the first time I met you. Know, and we were like house on fire. You know the the saying house on fire. It's not bad. House on fire is great because uh, I think f from rehearsal time two thirty p.m. all the way to the event till after the event, the two of us were still talking to each other until the event comes. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we're done. Yeah. We're done. We're done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm just gonna talk to me or some more. We're just gonna talk. So. That's how I got along. And uh, I didn't know that you were trying to, you know, overcompensate or, 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 or match me that day. I just thought that was Mia because I've never met Mia before. Mm -hmm. So I am flattered, but I don't think you have anything to be intimidated about. You know, two years, 10 years, five years, how many years you've been in this, in this industry. If you're good, people will look up to you. And I, I'm hoping I did my work enough uh, uh more than i think almost 20 years now that that i'm considered mm -hmm. enough for you to feel intimidated that is a that is kind of a flex so no, because definitely you know uh, i mean like knowledge comes with experience and again you've been in this industry for 20 years you know that's a long time you started off as soon as you come off uh, you came off from college you've experienced the highs and the lows the weirdness the awesomeness that that comes with this particular industry okay to name one or two one best or should i say one of the best experience that you have ever had while you're being in in this industry whether it's on radio or whether it's being an mc there's, there's definitely one or, or two that is never going to leave you know your mind that you that's always sticking with you sting, sting? Remember sting? wow <laughs> of course i know hey. sting Okay, your fans must be too young for this. If you know uh, who, <laughs> you are about my age. And, uh, of course, I'm about your age. I'm 38. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Oh, 82. You are my age. Yeah, well, regardless, you know, yeah. when, I entered, when I entered the industry, let me just tell you, I was not even out of college yet. It was because of the financial crisis. I told you when I met you, see what yeah. kind of friend you are, you don't remember. Uh, during the financial crisis, you know what that means? It means no, no more money. You come back. No more Australia. You come back. So halfway through university, actually, and that's how I ended up on Hits. I'm not that old. Old, you see. I uh, I started in my teens at Hits, and I turned twenty. Uh, I think one or two years after I I joined. One year? It's been too long. Uh, Hits. So that's a really long time ago. And guys, you know what? No blogs. No Instagram. No. We get a picture taken once a year. That's it. That's really good. 
No, that came after. We didn't even have Friendster. Like 99? 99. 99, no, Friendster was, yeah, Friendster wasn't really a big thing yet in 99. Internet was still uh, quite uh, of a sought after community back in 98 and 99. So, yeah, you're right. Or to go, remember the sound, the modem sound? Oh, dude, dial up modem 56k is the bomb, okay. And for just for one picture to load, check, 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 it ah, takes like three hours. Did you go shower, do your homework, and still come back? Still not loaded. That was the time that I joined. So, to give you perspective of what I've gone through, wow, you know, when blocks came around and we were supposed to write what we did every day, I thought, hey, mm -hmm. I want to know what I'm, I'm wearing or what I'm eating. Now it's all about what are you wearing and what you're eating, isn't it? People have, uh, well, in hindsight, I should have just gone on it. But, you know, a lot of radio DJ is a lot more private than you, than you think. I think that's why I joined mm -hmm. radio. Because when I joined radio, you didn't have to see me, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm basically talking to yeah. you like this. Hey, how are you? Oh, wow, I could be talking to 5,000 people. That's all right. What's up, 20,000 people? You get the party started. But I'm not looking yeah. at you. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I love it, but you're very expressive when you're actually telling the story. It's it's so it's so it's much more interesting. Okay, yeah, you're coming back to that. When you said no, 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 no. Put your hand down, lah, ma. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I had the same conversation with you, uh, with our well, uh, I want to say colleague as well, uh, Nafster from Tracks before. Yes, Remember so. Nafster? Yes. Yeah, right. So I had him on the show a couple of weeks back. Also, he voiced out the same thing. First, old school versus new school, and our old school uh, radio announcers. And he even right now he posted something a couple of days ago. He got confused because there's DJ, there's radio DJ, there's radio announcers, there's radio anchors. There's so many terminologies out there right now that exist. But you guys, when you guys started way back when, and we're not even talking about too long ago, we're talking about just 20 years ago, things were that very different in regards of marketing yourself, becoming a DJ. Nobody knew how you guys even looked like at all because it's just about the voice. But now yeah. it's more of very much pushing on the marketing side. How well can you sell yourself? Sell, I mean, inverted commas, obviously for the company as well as for your own image. I mean... It's a bit too much. Uh, I mean, like, don't you think so? Your own opinion? No, not at all. We're going with the times. And times went really oh. fast over the last few years, you know. Suddenly, with the advent of first, Facebook was a bit slow, you know. You could take your time with your Facebook page and all that. But when Instagram came along, and then you had all these Snapchats, and blah, 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 the whole world exploded, it pretty much went, woof! You follow the train or you miss it that's it right so if mm -hmm. i or you want to remain relevant I, well mm -hmm. we gotta be on the train so if you're not on that train mm -hmm. then you just, just that old part that used to talk on radio so i i don't know if i'm on that train yet viewers mm -hmm. you know who i am you know <laughs> then then maybe i caught that train but when when that train came it came really fast and it, it went so yeah. a lot of people had to adapt and so uh, like how you said Old, old school DJs, you know, old school DJs cannot be old school anymore unless you want to be forgotten. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I still need my rice bowl and my MC jobs and all that. So I had to hop on that train. Uh, as, as reluctant as I was, at first I really didn't want to go on the, the blog mm -hmm. train. The blog train just didn't work. But Instagram at least is, a you know, no, no, first it was Twitter, 140 characters, it's okay, it's fine. Instagram, finally, I got the hang of it, but I'm still... Mm -hmm. Still not consider one of the ones that are as active as as my peers out there, you know. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to, please follow me, CC to you, CC, like now, like like you know, so I can get more. Well, than but we're still waiting for you to make an appearance on TikTok, though. So when's that gonna happen? Already, that I put it on my story. Yeah, act, I mean, not as active as one might be. No, no, I, I'm trying to figure it out. Mm. Just to a lot like, like everything's happening at the same time and like i'm just trying to figure out how tiktok works and then and then okay. I'll probably, yeah so, so you're you're more of the analytics kind of person where you identify and really understand the whole concept and the whole flow before you get yourself much into it rather than just putting yourself at the mercy of the platform let's just see where things are you know in two weeks time after i do all this kind of thing so you're very much quite analytical when it comes no, to I'm this. Did you hear me? 
I said, I'm just uh, stupid. Okay. <laughs> I cannot figure out what to do. Why? <laughs> I, I went in and I go, how do I follow people? And then, and then, oh, how do people see me? You know, that that's the problem. Uh, I'm, like, I'm stupid. So once I get the hang of talk, I'll let you guys know. Because like, there's okay. so many people on TikTok, like Marion, my, our friend, she's dancing all the time. Mm. Like, yeah. And then uh, uh, there are people who do recipes. There are people who yeah. flip thing to like funny things and all that. I cannot even find a clip. So we're like, what is this? And suddenly I'm looking at some cat doing something. So I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there, 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 no, there must be a how-to or a Wikipedia page dedicated to people, you know, like like yourself, you know, that needs proper guidance, I think. <laughs> I think we just have to source that out. Yeah. No, okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, okay, jump, jump, jumping back to to. Um, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that at all. Okay, um, yeah. There's a there's a bit of a lag. No worries. It, it's fine. It's fine. I can still. Yeah, you're you're putting up your hand. I can. Yeah, you're like. Yes, berikra saya berikra akan. Okay, yeah, you're good. Okay. <laughs> I, you know what? I think because the fact that today is like the first quarter, everybody is like more geared up and getting online. Okay. All, the, all the telecommunication companies are like having bottleneck issues. Everybody is doing lies right now. And, and like you said yourself, yesterday, uh, you were also a part uh, with this particular movement or, or this organization that actually promotes against yeah. uh, violence against women. So you want to talk a bit about that? Hmm. I'm, okay. not, I'm not part of the organization. I'm All passionate right. about the cause. It just so happens mm -hmm. that my friend, who has an NGO, is doing uh, something amazing. So she, mm -hmm. I, I, I thought I should highlight it in my IG live, you know, as okay. a talking point for people to talk about. But because there are so many IG lives going on at the same time, you know, we didn't. Uh, well, <laughs> I hope we reached the amount of people that needed to know about it. But it's, it's not like we had 100,000 people in my, in my IG life. No, no. Mm -hmm. the others going on about domestic abuse. If you really want to know more about it, you can DM me at CC Serena CC. But we had a very good talk. Mio was in it. Uh, the thing is, I'm passionate about women or men and abuse. Abuse is just wrong. So it's the cause that I'm passionate about. So Hannah, my friend whom I was talking about, is an amazing advocate. She's a writer, she was a lawyer, and she's now currently baking, a, I mean, 100 cakes a day in her own home. One woman, one oven. So all these proceeds go to the ladies under uh, under the care of Para Women for Women's Society. So I thought it was an amazing story. I just wanted to share the story. I'm not part of the association, but I would like to highlight this. Yeah, even though you're not part of the association, but well. And the Celepets, do you know who the Celepets are? No, I do not know. Uh, like, you know who the Celepets are? No, I do not. Who, I, what, what are the Celepets? Who okay, are? so are they named this the Celepets because I don't know. Okay. Do I need to explain or are you, are you being funny? Uh, no. Um, are we lagging? Yeah, we're, totally we're lagging right now. Yeah, we yeah again we're we're lagging a bit, but but yeah, you said something about the slippets. Who what? This okay yeah. I, I, I okay, think let me try and explain. I'll just, I'll just explain while we lag, and let's see if you can sure. get it. Go on. <laughs> I'll just like okay. Uh, so for a very long time, because I've been around for 20 years, if this is lagging, I'm totally talking to myself. Um, <laughs> we've had events, you know, there's a lot of events and MCs and actors and all well, anyway. Um, we go out for events. Uh, how do you say? We tend to gel, you know? So some of us mm -hmm. get along and we laugh together and all that. So seven, uh, there's seven of us who are very passionate about things like uh, human rights, children's rights, abuse, uh, the orang asli or the underprivileged. They call it the pet projects. That's why it's called Cele Pet. Celebrities with pet projects. I don't know who gave us a name, 
But uh, there's seven of us. So uh, Sazi Falak, Yasmini, Dina Dokta, Daphne Iking, Aisha Sinclair, Atilia, Yasmin Hani. How come there's seven before me? Okay, I either I cannot count or I'm the eighth one. We tend to um we've lost Mio now, but I'm on Mio's uh Facebook, so I'm gonna keep talking. So there's seven of us and we're all very active in many fields so yeah so the slippets uh, have our malam amal celebration every year i know this year i don't know how we're going to do it but every year we spend it with our single mothers under the care of kindness malaysia so we've done uh, malam amal with them with a lot of very generous people who have donated many many things to them mm. and uh, you know i'm just talking even though you left and uh, I don't know what. <laughs> no, 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 no. You covered yeah. it. You covered it quite well. Yeah, awesome stuff. You you covered you covered my 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 behind very very well. Suddenly this the, the thing just went off. Suddenly. <laughs> I thought but, partners are for When when your MC walks away to the toilet, I keep talking. So I'm not, I'm not done complain, uh, complaining. Complaining. Like explaining. <laughs> the slippets. So basically, are all no, but this is a serious matter because you know uh, they are mm. all very. Uh, serious about many things and so together mm -hmm. in short we got along very well so for yes. the most part of the last 10 years we've had uh, celebrations for malam amals for single mothers uh, a lot of them uh, are abused or have left their husbands but basically they are of uh, the b4t bracket and uh, so last year in fact instead of having a malam amal we are having a mentorship program with them in collaboration with mom Okay. So throughout MCO, actually, we're doing something. We are mentoring micro businesses. Like, if you're an Instagram business, you know, you want my input. Mm. I know I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a, how do you, I'm not an expert, but as a user of Instagram, you know, we're also being men mentors or uh, helping out some micro businesses with the celebrities. So the celebrities are actually doing a lot of things, especially with the single mothers. Um, so all this right. year, I don't know how. Mama with Fossa and all that, but uh, we've got big sponsors like E Patani who came and, and donated to them. So, this is how the mm -hmm. celebrants came. To of course, on the side, we have a lot of fun, you know. Of course, uh, May I, I would just like to uh, point this out. I mean, I just uh, opened up an article. You're talking about Aisha Sinclair, Shazi Fala, Yasmin Hani, Daphne I King, Atilia Haron, uh, Dina Smokta, and yourself, Serena C, makes up these celebrates, these short, uh, the short of celebrity with pet projects. So these are the core members, if you will, when you talk about celebrities. Yeah, you know, we've got our sisters as well because we're all so close, you know. Honey Madu is really close mm. to them. But Yasmin Yusuf, mm. Zura, you know. So during Malam Amal, these ladies, they will come together and they will bring their own angpaos, uh, I mean, uh, and then uh, mm. they will give it to these uh, less fortunate ladies with their children and their families. And that's really moving because, you know, uh, entertainers giving back is, you know, is, is a great thing, you know, because yes. we can back to singing. Atilia always sings at our Malam Amal. And uh, mm. I, I am the one who cannot really see, speak Malay, so I just stand there and hold babies, you know. <laughs> really? Hey, <laughs> your, your Malay is okay, la. it's not that bad. La. I mean, but, but what? Okay, tell me the truth. Is your French better than your BM now? French is a very difficult language. I will not <laughs> comment. My husband, no, let me You are. I get a question for my in laws. Okay, get back to the topic. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not bullying me or it's just that me are so cute when I bully him, you see. So no, 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 no. I I I I I I accept these kind of kind of engagement. It, it builds up character, you see. Having coming from Serena, someone like Paka Tlinga, but but it helps me you know, with my daily routine. Yeah, well, I'll give you a funny story when Mia first met me because it was the one and only time you met me, isn't it? And we were hosting yeah. appreciation uh, uh, gala night. And appreciation gala mm. night be very dry, you know. So, mm -hmm. but we have to, we have to be really uh, professional. That's why I'm still here. I think I have a job because I can still be professional. But at the same time, when we were reading the recipient names on the rostrum, I know you know where I'm getting at this. I was trying to make your laugh. You see, so I do. I draw a lot of funny pictures on the rostrum. Andy, he, he couldn't hold it. He went, 
Voyons, c'est trop seigneur. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You know, as much as you have to stay in character when, when you're doing such events, but if you have your co-partner, it's like trying to like, you know, mess, no, no, I mean like not mess things up, but it's more like, you know, trying to inject some some fun into the the matter at hand. Yeah, dia tak bertempat lah sebenarnya, putting it that way, but yeah. <laughs> But, but 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 we managed to make it you know out clean and alive and well you know people appreciated what we did so uh, I, I guess know, it, I, I was professional all the way man you see you me on the mic I, I don't know about you but I was professional all the way I just since so when la, my boy hit like you professional <laughs> then you tell them why I'm not professional no you're professional when you need to be professional. So for that two minutes of professionalism that is required, Serena C is like the best. But once that mic was turned off for like, you know, off air and everything, and that's when the craziness comes in. Lah. I mean, I, I wish that I could share the, the how, how we actually managed to break the ice. Uh, I mean, like, between ourselves, but obviously we cannot share that story right now. Uh, but it was kind of fun. I mean, like you looked at me and then we kind of like understood each other and then we knew what we wanted to do to keep our nerves down, to make ourselves more comfortable. So that was a that was a cool trick. That was a fun uh, and, and yeah. easy way to to, to I, break I, the I, ice. I had to I had to do this to Mio. Hey, Mio, read like to get this thing. It's okay. <laughs> no, we're like magic a ball. Please give me a good number today. You know? <laughs> hey, I cannot see any comments. I, I, you know, this is the first time I'm on stream yet. So how does it work? Do we see comments or did you see yeah, comments? Usually like that, that side over there, I mean, that's where the, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I don't want to poke into your ears, but yeah, that side, that's where the live comments actually come in. Uh, usually there would, you know, people leaving comments and asking um, about the show and everything. It all depends on the, the topic in hand and whoever it is that I have on the show. Like I had the pleasure of speaking to um, Sharon, uh, Sharon, uh, Sharon Lowe, the ex uh, national squash player. Uh, she brought, yeah. So she had, a, uh, she had a few of her mates uh, on there as well, you know, giving comments and everything. I had Lenora Low on also uh, speaking about fitness. She had a lot of fans coming in as well. I see, I see nothing. No, 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 it's fine. I mean, like, it's more intimate, actually. You know, I, I, I don't really mind about the comments and everything. So this gives us the opportunity for us to reconnect <laughs> even better. How many people are looking at us? Like, how um, many people are looking at us? Why are you justifying the numbers right now? Can't you just enjoy the show right now and just let it be? Numbers doesn't, it's not really important right no. now. It's all about just creating, you know, content, you know, valuable content that people can enjoy when, when they watch <laughs> us. Three of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But I'm, I just, I'm just trying to get a picture of what mm. It's all right. So now, no, we'll yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. I mean, like, you know, to, to our three viewers and who gave four likes, again, really appreciate so much uh, that you guys are. Okay, we just jumped out to another one. We got four viewers right now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you. you know, we, we, we and no, the reason why I actually brought Serena on, on Sema Sempo is actually because I know that you know, Serena being Serena is very much of a bubbly person. I mean, yeah, you can't deny that, Serena. You're very bubbly. You're very cheerful. Sarcasm, sarcasm is actually part of the work that we are in. Being in our line of work, we need to keep ourselves on our toes. We need to be quick. We need to be witty. But we need to be tasteful as well. We know when to say things and when not to say things. Because when people say that sarcasm, Sarcasm can actually be very bad and very hurtful. There's actually ways to play it. Being sarcastic, there's of course there's mean. Uh, there's 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 sarcastic being mean and whatnot. But there's also like it's just playful banter, isn't it? Witty. The word is witty. I hope mm -hmm. I'm witty, but not not. And, 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 and being witty is definitely uh, one of the major traits of being a good announcer or being a good host presenter. Don't you think so? Why don't you tell me what you like about me? Okay, that's that's Serena being witty in a nutshell. What, <laughs> what she just said, and she are posing like, Ya Allah, gedi, aku like tergeli suddenly. And she just went off the line. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, you you, dish, you you didn't just like go out from my show uh, on no, purpose, I right? I'm still here. I'm waiting for my compliment. 
Yeah, no, and that's one thing. I mean, like, Serena C cherishes compliments so much. She even jots it down on her phone. She records it and, like, what you did the other day, you wanted, like, 10 things that I like about you or something like that, or why I like working with you and everything, like, getting testimonials straight away. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Anytime I can bring it up, yo, if I remember where I put it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, okay, okay, la, Serena pretty la. Serena is very, very nice, very pretty. She has a beautiful daughter as well, being about five years old, your daughter. How she's how's it been being a mom at home, five year old daughter? She's actually turning six in a month, and I'm I'm wondering oh. if we're still gonna be under MCO. Yes, we are. For parents who are uh, in this with their children, just wow! I feel you. I know you're a father too. You're doing wonderful mm. things with your child, you know. Chloe is five, so you know they have the attention span of a mouse. So I'm, no, I'm, no, not a goldfish lah. At least longer than a goldfish lah. Mouse is a goldfish <laughs> thing. So yeah, it's a lot of entertaining her and and, mm. and and trying to keep her occupied and trying not to get mad because mm. there's no sense in getting mad this MCO because poor thing, True. she's inside a lot more than us because at least we go to do the groceries and all that with breathing. Yeah. Enough. So yeah, it's it's uh, well, it's it's for the doctors and the nurses and the patients and for us to get better. So I'm not going to complain about MCO. None of yeah. us complain about it. But yeah, she will be probably spending her birthday end of May here at home. So mm -hmm. I don't know how to do about that. So far, she's all right. I think we're entertaining her well in uh, yeah. Saying yeah. Well, I mean, like, you know, in, in comparison to yesteryears, uh, again, there's only so much that you can do. But again, I doubt, I don't doubt at all that you can throw her a nice birthday party, you know, with the decos and gifts and whatnot. You can still buy those. I mean, I don't they... my, uh, Pilates mat from Lazada three weeks ago is still not here. So I, if I wow. start ordering now, uh, maybe my balloons will come after a birthday. Let me try. <laughs> Hey, you, you, have, you, know, you have to have you know the best intent the best thinking you know i did buy a few stuff for lazada they did arrive three four days after it didn't take that long granted there's two items that i've been waiting for two weeks now so they have not arrived yet so that's that's, that's that's it you see i ordered three things one thing so my husband has a theory wait let me change it <clears throat> it is probably stuck in the china i know you know the china because i think you order something from china why oh, you order something from China? Not in Malaysia? Ah, okay, back to Malaysia. So yeah, I, I think I, I accidentally ordered something overseas, not necessarily China, but yeah. things are made in China. So I wouldn't be surprised mm. right now. So, yeah, I mean like, you know, the, the tip yeah. right now is that if have, whatever it is that so, you want to buy from yeah, Shopee well, or Lazada I'm and everything. Offline, I'm gonna order balloons. Okay. Yeah, you ordered the balloons right now. I mean like, yeah, it's, as long as they're being shipped Finally. within the country and not like from outside, all you have to do is find a local distributor rather than saying that the stuff are being imported from elsewhere else. Then you're you're good. Hmm. Okay, Serena, That's dude, it we have... Said we, it said they're hmm. ready, stop, listen. Have, have you actually, uh, like, did you actually chat with right. them beforehand, asking them whether they got stock or not and everything? Hello. Okay, uh, we're breaking up again. Okay. No, never mind. Never mind. Can you hear me now? 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 <laughs> okay, okay we're, we're yeah, no, we're 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 running on a time and actually we are at, we're running at about 33 minutes, 34 minutes now. Uh I think it's time for us oh, to no. call it a day. Am I gonna huh? Yeah, no, I mean like yeah, you you've been talking too much that time just flew. So yeah, we ran out of time. Fortunately. So oh, thank you. Then. Thank you, guys. Uh, but, but before that, Serena, uh, before before you go, before you go, of course, um, just um, whatever it is that you want to wish to our well four viewers right now, and also the hundreds that will be watching this later on. Any words of wisdom, any special wishes that you want to you know convey to oh, cool. everyone? Four viewers, or uh, in, in all seriousness, four viewers, one viewer, zero viewer, two thousand viewer. It's the same. Thank you for watching. You know, I'm I'm thankful nonetheless. That Mr. Muir got me on your channel. It's a nice chat, you know, revisiting our one night of getting to know each other. Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nothing to worry about. We were completely professional. We and, were, we yeah. were, we were very, yes. Yes, and him, you know, bothering me the whole time, talking about old times, you know. 
No, but four person, eleven person, it, it doesn't matter. You all, you all are great. Following Mr. Muir, have a wonderful bulan uh, puasa, uh, selamat berpuasa to everybody, and uh, let's hope we get out of this soon. You know, see. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, Rina, for coming on uh, to Sema Senpoi. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, itu saja, guys. That's it from us today. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys uh, again next week. Uh, dan diharapkan, as always, kata-kata biasa, kita jaga kita, duduk rumah, jom Malaysia. Kita sama-sama putuskan rantaian COVID-19 ini. Dan selamat menyambut Ramadan. Hari ini first Ramadan. Selamat berpuasa kepada semua umat Islam dan kepada semua yang berpuasa. Say bye-bye, Serena. Yeah, yang dia, dia cakap tu. Yeah, bye. Okay. Say bye. Bye. See you guys. Assalamualaikum. Bye. bye.